Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my each way Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow's horse racing here in the UK. Just a quick reflection on how today's selections ran, not a great day as usual. Only one place today which was in the 2 o'clock uh, uh, Lingfield which was Arneson. Good performance from Frankie Dottori, the horse had a wide draw and it was definitely prominent from early on. And also as well you could always tell it was going to place because the top three horses in that race were... Miles clear of the rest of the field for the majority of the race. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that was a good performance. Definitely one for the memory bank, Arneson, for future races. The other horses didn't perform amazing today. Our National Hunt selection of uh, um, Vasane was very disappointing. He didn't jump very well. Even though he was prominent for a lot of the race, he didn't turn up today. So that was annoying, as our, it was our only um, National Hunt prediction um, for today at Exeter. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway, just a quick reflection as well on um, not just me, but probably how other people did today. I don't think a lot of people would have done very well. But seeing um, the results that came in, there was a lot of um, long shots that won. I think there was a 40 to 1. We had a 25 to 1 to win somewhere. We had a few 16s and 20s and that. So, um, yeah, so there's a, definitely been a few probably lucky um lucky betters out there picking those horses but also a lot of um disappointed punters as well because a few of the quite a few of the short horses today um short priced horses didn't really um turn up and deliver i think i think probably all of them like if you're looking at horses that were under um more short than evens they never really turned up so if you backed a lot of money on them that was pretty unlucky today so yeah, so um, that's what's really going on in the horse racing world at the moment. A lot of uncertainty as we've just entered the flat season, which we've reflected on a few times. But that's not going to deter us, and we're going to be um, making another Each Way Lucky 15 predictions for tomorrow. So let's get stuck in. Our first Each Way Lucky 15 prediction tomorrow, we're running the 150 at Nottingham, and this horse is called Tango Fire. Now this horse is um, a foal by Frankel. Frankel, we all know, was a great uh, racehorse over the flat, one of the greatest in modern times. Um, he, since he's been retired and gone on to Siren, he's done really well. I think he's the number one... Um, Best sire in uh, Europe for, I think, two or three-year-olds over the last uh, year, which means he's getting the most winners out of his foals that he's produced. So the stat for that looks really good for this horse, Tango Fire. So there's got a lot of interest around it, just being with the connections to Frankel. It's trained by um, a good uh, trainer, Richard Hannon. A lot of his um, horses always run normally really well, and this horse will be ridden by a good jockey called Pat Dobbs. So yeah, so this horse has got a lot of uh, things going for it tomorrow and also it will be making its race course debut as this race is a maiden. So yeah, so looking at the race from a wider perspective, there's not a lot of um, great horses um, that have already uh, run running in this race. A few um, have come like fourth or fifth, but nothing really to catch the eye. And so you're going to have to look to one of the more um, newcomers for tomorrow. There's a few newcomers in that race, but this one certainly looks the most interesting. And currently 4-1 to one in the market. He's definitely got to be in the mix tomorrow with all those connections. So that's who we're going for tomorrow. Tango Fire is our first selection. Our second pick tomorrow runs in the 2.30 on the flat at Catterick. This horse that we're going for is called Surround Sound. Now Surround Sound I've backed a few times and it's always um, been a really good uh, horse to come in for. The last few uh, outings it's run on the all weather and it's been really consistent in the placings and it's won a couple of races as well. It's going to be ridden by um, the normal jockey that normally rides it, Rachel Richardson, where she'll be able to use her three-pound claimer. Handicap hasn't been too harsh on this horse for the good performances of late. This horse as well is um, trained by Tim Easterby, who's another good trainer when it comes to flat horses. So yeah, so there's a lot of good things going for this race uh, tomorrow. The main uh, market uh, leader in that um, race is another horse I like called Go George Go. I backed him, I think, for all of his uh, four wins earlier in the all-weather. He uh, ran a few days ago um, over the turf and was just narrowly pipped. But I think it's going to be a good battle. And if you had to go for um, 
either horse. I think Saram Sam might just edge it over the really good form of late. So, um, yeah, so that's who I'm going to back, and it's also at a better price as well. So, um, yeah, that's who I'm going to go for tomorrow. Saram Sam is our second pick in our Each Way Lucky 15. Our third pick tomorrow in our Each Way Lucky 15 sees us go to the only national hunt feature tomorrow at Fontwell. This horse runs in the 340 at uh, Fontwell tomorrow, and it's called Goring 1. This horse is uh, going to be ridden by a good jockey who's up there in the jockey standings for this season, Paddy Brennan. And this horse is trained by Anna Newton-Smith. This horse, um, even though it's becoming a bit of a veteran now, it's 12 years old, he's um, been really good of late. He's run a lot of places and he's had a win at uh, Fontwell a couple of starts ago, uh, beating a horse that's... Uh, called Leglock Luke, which is named after um, the famous uh, jockey, the Welsh uh, national winning jockey, that is, of Luke Harvey. So, um, so yeah, so that was a uh, good performance that day. And as well, if you look at the race as well, um, Gorin 1 seems to um, be, even though he's a veteran, he seems to be the one that seems to like the better ground more. A lot of the other horses seem like they need a bit more softer ground. So... I think he's definitely in with a chance tomorrow. Also, he'll be getting a bit of weight um, from uh, some of the other horses and his rivals tomorrow. So, yeah, he's not... He, you might say he's a bit past it and that, but to be fair, he's got just as good a chance as anyone, I feel, in that race. So, yeah, that's who I'm going to back tomorrow. Gorham won as our third horse in our Each Way Lucky 15 tomorrow. Our last pick in our Each Way Lucky 15 tomorrow runs in the uh, 4 o'clock at Catterick, and this horse is called Be Perfect, and obviously that's what we want it to do tomorrow, Be Perfect, great name for a horse. This horse is um, trained by Ruth Carr and will be ridden by James Sullivan. It's been a bit disappointing recently over the all-weather. It ran a few times and didn't run a great race, but um, prior to uh, the winter, uh, in September, it actually won over this course and distance at Catterick off the same mark which it's going to be running off tomorrow. So there's definitely um, a bit of promise with this horse. And that whole, uh, race as well was quite a good race. It won by a few lengths in hand. So uh, yeah, so there's definitely a lot of positives to take with this horse. And Connections tomorrow will be expecting a good run. So it currently 9-1 to one in the market. He's definitely got a chance like um most of the other horses of running a good race so i think uh, be perfect tomorrow hopefully will come in and be perfect for us tomorrow but anyway if um you have any um comments uh that you want to make leave those comments in the comments box below if you've got any predictions uh for tomorrow's horse racing action if you've been doing all right on the flat or um did all right extra today on the national hunt let us know in the comments box below subscribe if you want more content from lucky loaders 15 with more horse racing predictions gamble responsibly and i'll see you soon